sitting there. You can see the jail's tail is uh, getting more tattered, and that concerns me. As some of you may remember, I have rehomed Jello in this tank before, in this 240 gallon, and she hated it. She was swimming back and forth for uh, two or three weeks, not finding rest which is not like this fish at all. The reason I did it last time, it was probably about half a year ago, maybe even a year ago, was because again her tail was tattered and I saw Piraiba clamping down on, on her tail and testing if Jello is edible or not. That's why I've tried to rehome rehoming her the last time. But she she looked clearly uncomfortable in this tank before. So I put her, ended up putting her back again. But now the tether is more than I can um, tolerate I guess. There was a piece of tail missing on the on the top. I don't like it. I don't know who's done it. Piraiba or Paroons. But I don't like it at all. So it's better to have her here in this 240 gallon alive. Maybe a little uncomfortable. Maybe we'll try it longer if she's uncomfortable here. Then to have her in the 4500 gallon and uh, have her killed there.
she was very heavy. I mean, it was very hard for me to take her out of there and hold her in my hand, in my one hand, pretty much, un un underneath her. Pretty heavy, pretty heavy fish. This tank is uh, two feet wide, and I, I don't think she fits in there across. Yeah, she's probably, when her tail grows back, she's going to be even slightly longer. Anyhow, this is our update on the Lofia Silurus apparensis, yellow jello catfish. Her dorsal fin is also, of course, has been bitten long time ago though it doesn't have the right shape it's still missing uh, a few pieces from the very top of it the hybrid in here is in timeout for those of you who keep track and the uh, marble pim catfish is growing back her tail from being attacked by Piraiba.